Have you ever wondered about the enchanting city of Rome? This time, we're setting off to the heart of history, the eternal city itself. We'll be exploring the top 10 must-visit places, each steeped in rich culture and intriguing tales. From the Grand Colosseum to the mesmerizing Pantheon, from the sacred Vatican City to the vibrant Trastevere neighborhood, we'll dive into the unique beauty and history that make Rome truly timeless. So tighten your seatbelts as we embark on this captivating journey. Starting our countdown at number 10, we have the Colosseum. This immense amphitheater the largest of its kind ever built by the Roman Empire, is a marvel of engineering that has stood the test of time. For centuries the Colosseum served as a stage for gladiator battles, animal hunts and epic dramas based on classical mythology. This symbol of Rome's ancient grandeur could accommodate an estimated 50,000 spectators, making it a social and cultural hub of the empire. Its complex system of underground passages once teeming with gladiators and exotic beasts, added an element of surprise to the spectacles. Today the Colosseum stands as a testament to the innovative spirit and architectural prowess of the ancient Romans, and offers a glimpse into the empire's vibrant, albeit often brutal, entertainment culture. An impressive testament to the grandeur of the Roman Empire, the Colosseum is a must-visit. At number 9 stands the marvel of ancient architecture, the Pantheon. This grand edifice built as a temple dedicated to the gods of ancient Rome is a testament to the architectural prowess of the Romans. The Pantheon's most striking feature is its massive dome, still the world's largest unreinforced concrete dome. Central to its design is the oculus, an open-air circular hole at the crown of the dome that allows sunlight to illuminate the interior, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. The Pantheon's historical significance is equally impressive. Once a temple, it was repurposed as a Christian church in the 7th century, and later served as a tomb for notable figures, including renowned artist Raphael. Today, the Pantheon stands as a well-preserved relic of Roman history, a place where the past and present meet in a harmonious dance of time. The Pantheon, an engineering marvel, leaves every visitor in awe. Number 8 takes us to the heart of Catholicism, the Vatican City. This sovereign city-state, nestled within Rome, is a pulsating hub of religious and historical significance. It's home to St. Peter's Basilica, the world's largest church and a masterpiece of Italian Renaissance architecture. This awe-inspiring structure is where the Pope delivers his blessings, and it's a pilgrimage site for millions of Catholics each year. And then we have the Sistine Chapel, a jewel of the Vatican, renowned for its breathtaking frescoes. The ceiling, painted by Michelangelo, is a testament to human creativity and divine inspiration. It's a place where art, history, and spirituality converge, creating an experience that's nothing short of magical. The Vatican City, with its sacred spaces and stunning artistry, is more than just a city. It's a living museum, a beacon of faith, and a testament to humanity's enduring quest for beauty and knowledge. The Vatican City, a treasure trove of art and history, captivates every visitor. At number 7 we step into the Roman Forum, the vibrant center of ancient Rome. This grand plaza, buzzing with life, was the epicenter of Roman public life for centuries. Here, the most critical decisions affecting the city and often the wider empire were made. Senators debated laws, merchants bartered goods and citizens gathered to discuss everything from politics to the latest gladiatorial games. Walking through the Forum you can almost hear the echoes of these conversations, the clatter of commerce and the grand oratory of Roman statesmen. The Forum was not just the heart of Rome but in many ways the heart of the civilization that still shapes our world today. The ruins, though silent now, speak volumes about Rome's past, from the Arch of Titus to the Temple of Saturn, every stone tells a story. The Roman Forum, an open-air museum showcases Rome's rich history. Number 6 brings us to the Fountain of Love and Wishes, the Trevi Fountain. Nestled in the heart of Rome, this masterpiece of Baroque architecture is more than just a fountain. It's a symbol of romance and dreams, where thousands find hope in a simple tradition, coin tossing. The legend goes that tossing a coin over your shoulder into the fountain ensures a return to this beautiful city. Two coins? You're destined for a new romance. And three coins? Well that's a guarantee of marriage or divorce. Intriguing, isn't it? Now let's talk about its design. The fountain stands approximately 85 feet high and about 65 feet wide, making it the largest Baroque fountain in the city, and one of the most famous fountains in the world. Its stunning sculptures and cascading waters captivate the hearts of many. The Trevi Fountain, a symbol of wishes coming true, is a must-visit spot. At number 7, we find the Spanish Steps, a charming spot in Rome. 
As one of the city's most iconic landmarks, the Spanish Steps are a stairway of 135 steps, gracefully cascading down a steep slope in the heart of the city. At the foot of these steps, the Piazza di Spagna bustles with life, while the Trinita dei Monti Church crowns the top, watching over Rome with a serene gaze. The Spanish Steps are nestled at the end of Rome's chic shopping street, Via Condotti, known for its luxury boutiques and iconic cafes. Here, the blend of history and modern life creates a unique atmosphere, humming with the rhythm of Rome. From the top you can soak in panoramic views of the eternal city. The cityscape, with its blend of ancient and contemporary architecture, stretches out beneath a brilliant Italian sky. The Spanish steppes offer a charming atmosphere and stunning views, inviting you to pause, to breathe, and to simply be in the moment. Number 4 on our list is the historical Castel Sant'Angelo. A testament to Rome's rich and varied history, this circular fortress has worn many hats over the centuries. Originally constructed as the Mausoleum of Hadrian, this grand structure was later repurposed as a military fortification, a prison, and even a papal residence during times of danger. Over the years Castel Sant'Angelo has evolved, with each transformation adding a new layer to its complex character. It's not just a castle, it's a symbol of resilience and adaptation. A silent witness to the countless narratives that have unfolded within and around its formidable walls. Its strategic location along the banks of the Tiber River adds to its allure, creating a stunning silhouette that has inspired artists and poets for generations. Whether it's bathed in the golden glow of the setting sun, or illuminated against the night sky, it's a sight to behold. Castel Sant'Angelo, a historical marvel forms an impressive silhouette along the Tiber River. At number 9 we delve into Rome's old neighborhood, Trastevere. An enchanting maze of winding cobblestone streets, Trastevere is a vibrant, pulsating part of Rome that is steeped in history and bursting with life. This neighborhood with its narrow lanes is a sensory delight, inviting you to lose yourself in its charm. The houses, a kaleidoscope of pastel hues, add a touch of whimsy to the scene. Each one a testament to the rich history that unfolds in every corner of this charming neighborhood. In Trastevere, Italy's authentic atmosphere is palpable. The air hums with the lively chatter in Italian, the aroma of freshly brewed espresso wafts from the local cafes, and the tantalizing scent of Italian cuisine from the family-run trattorias beckons you to sample the local flavors. In every sense, Trastevere, Rome's old neighborhood, offers a slice of authentic Italian life. It's a place where the past and the present coexist in perfect harmony. Number 10 takes us to the Altar of Peace, the Arapacis. This magnificent monument was constructed by Emperor Augustus in the 1st century BC to celebrate the prosperity of Rome after his return from Spain and Gaul. The Arapacis, Latin for Altar of Peace, is a testament to the golden era of the Pax Romana, a time of great peace and stability throughout the Roman Empire. This altar was where Romans came to offer sacrifices and prayers for continued peace and prosperity. The Arapacius is a masterpiece of Roman sculpture, adorned with elegant reliefs that tell a story of a prosperous era. On the exterior you'll find depictions of Roman gods and goddesses, alongside detailed scenes of processions featuring Augustus and his family. These reliefs are not just beautiful to look at, they also provide a unique glimpse into the ideology and societal structure of Augustus's reign. The Arapacis, a monument of peace and prosperity, captivates with its elegant reliefs. We've now explored the top 10 must-visit places in Rome. We've journeyed through time, witnessing the grandeur of the Colosseum and the engineering marvel of the Pantheon. We've marveled at the sacred art and history of Vatican City and walked the ancient streets of the Roman Forum. We've made wishes at the enchanting Trevi Fountain and admired the panoramic views from the Spanish steppes. We've explored the multifaceted Castel Sant'Angelo and immersed ourselves in the authentic Italian atmosphere of Trastevere. Finally we've stood before the elegant Arapacis, a testament to Rome's prosperity under Augustus. Each of these places offers a unique glimpse into the rich culture and history of Rome, a city that continues to captivate and enchant countless visitors each year. So, how about discovering this magnificent city for yourself? Happy travels!